there will be no more option than to sign and say, okay, now can you make a zoo? Because then I'm gonna, you know, I say, okay, don't worry, I can make the thing, you know, as usual now. It be afra, name me, I be afra, they cook up with in a jiku. Mananya, the car, maybe after how we raise here, say, okay, we bring you into confinement, I mean, safe house, that is house arrest. I quite know here now, now what? Gone are the days, though. When onye potaya anandibo, the generation now anya anya nuziya na anya ime preme pe this year three hundred and sixty degrees now watch. No person can treat us like a masob. Owazike use the blood of people, the blood of Igbo youths that believe in Biafra because many of them believe that uh, once you talk about Biafra, hey people will follow you. Don't worry, that is what Ekberima is counting on. Are you hearing me? It's no more now. <laughs> it's no more now. Otherwise, you hear me to Mahatma Gandhi Because the generation now is different. That's why Mazinam the Kano himself say that Biafra IPOB is undestructible. Do you think he say he built an ideology in us? If you are going uh, you know, uh, uh, try to divert that uh, or going against that ideology, you go down. Direct. We don't care who you are. Are you hearing me? We must continue what we are doing. Bintan Yako has called, he, he has given them 2 0. Now he's threatening, threatening, threatening them. Something she never do before. Because he knows that he's, she is on top. The leader of uh, indigenous people of Biafra. Ne threat na. Chineke kuna yonjo. Oh God. Chineke kuna yonjo. We must continue what we are doing. We must continue. So let me just read a bit the news. Nyako said she will commence the trial when the defense was ready. Now they want to quick a trial. I mean. Uh, uh, the now uh, Jimako because they were criticizing uh, uh, Zekoma that oh, everything was slow so now they want to quick a trial for them they said no we are not ready uh, no 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 uh, do, do these people make sense at all you know I don't know I don't know but there is no way no person can use us <laughs> Instead, you should not want to talk about it. So, that's why I put on my platform. Uh, this is the time for every Biafra. Because we have a core stake in this struggle. In Biafra. So, no person will come and uh, use it. You should not want to say, you should not want to say, you a Nigerian politician. It can never happen. It can never happen. Masob, was it came and I do to all a group of local champions. <laughs> That's the thing. On Rusia on top, he used money. Ego ni ya, ego ni punya ureke ke people no near him. Ha support oya. It can never happen. In IPOB, we are people. Ndi no na this struggle man. Ndi oshi man. Ndi ama man. Ndi gra ko gwo oshi man. Ndi ono different. Ndi no no na hogoro wars on different countries. Many different things. Why desert? Why bush road? But you know, bam many bam. Guess okay, guy. You get you have ya gwo 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 abacham banan. It's impossible. Yeah, get me see. I thought no be a friend. Yeah, Urozi. A, a killer, a killer zone. <laughs> yeah, Rosi, a place. Only a reborn, a young Rosian here. Yeah, Grosia, like a Gelia. You just, you, everyone in Grosia, a piece of land where you be buried, finish. No more. Because we cannot accept anything other than the restoration of Biafra. That is it. So, Hana, 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 Goto, here, Hana, Goto. I go to I na watch. Let them continue go to it. I na go to it. I na let. Think that you can use blackmail 
and get something through blackmail and you'll be enjoying it no 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 our leader remains the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, not a kind of family uh, 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 leader. No. No. People have died and continue dying. So we cannot settle for less. It's impossible. We can never settle for less. Therefore, we must continue. Binta Nyako is uh, she's, uh, happy, la laughing. I don't know who is there. Uh, but IPOB, I know now, we continue watching. We continue watching. Therefore, as I said, I want to talk on the continuous colonial legacy. I will continue on this. Destruction of indigenous population through, through fulanization. Through fulanization. That is what is going on. Now, it is a, the British policy to destroy the indigenous peoples in Nigeria, mostly Biafrans. Their policy is to recreate them to their test. That is what is going on. To recreate the people that they forcefully joined together. They have a plan to recreate them to their test. In see, the same way they recreated uh, 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 slaves that we are taken to Americas and Europe, they first of all humiliated them. They first of all gave them tattoo. You know, you see the way they tattoo animals. They will put iron and fire and use it to you know to 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 burn your skin you feel humiliated they don't have any difference between man and woman male and female everybody naked you feel naked you feel both physically and internally naked and vulnerable and hopeless now they change your name that is the they recreated the slaves the way they want them. So that they manipulate. First of all, you don't know where you come from again. Uh, because they have changed your name to Toby. Kunta Kinte becomes known as Toby. You know, different, different, you know. So you you are no you don't have anything again that uh, covers you. You don't have nothing that covers you. Now you become vulnerable and become docile, pliable by your handler. Now they give you a religion that will become your standard for uprightness because before you were a savage and you feel that like that. I don't know whether people are understanding what I'm saying. That is the continuous colonial legacy. So that when it comes to God, when you talk about God, you see the Bible say, you know, Bible say uh, to prove that before that uh, Bible, you are nothing. You are a savage. Are you hearing me? All these are continuous colonial legacy to create you the type of human being they want you to be. So that when you are answer, when they, we talk about your ancestors, they say, no, 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 don't talk, they are evil. That is the type of human being they want you to be. The evil colonizers. They colon they, that is what they want to do in Nigeria. What they are not they want to do, what they are doing in Nigeria. And they are using the full name. You understand? They are using the full name. You know, the full name thing that you know they always find willing tools. They all remember, first of all, how did the Fulani arrive at this stage? How did they arrive at this stage of being in control of over 98% of Nigerians? How? The same thing I'm talking, they will use others. 
once they use all you know they use others once they use them you know they they they, they make you believe that they you know they are doing a collective interest we the not remember we the not now from that collective statement they they now brought the whole tribes in the north into one fold and now use them when you have them they say no 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 it's not about full and you we are fighting for the north our region now when they use them to fight the Igbos, after they will be killing them one after the other taking them down gideon or car them they will formulate it oh they plan the coup they formulate one thing and be taking them down one after the other today they are they are using the full name uh, uh, terrorists to clear all other indigenous populations in the north that is how it was but they it's the same people they use so what am i what am i saying the britain is using the full name in order to do their dirty job and they are you know when they come they they use they say ah Allah Akbar. You say ah, Islamization is that there is another tactics. Once other Muslims hear that oh, these people are Muslims, they are trying to convert the infidels. It was the infidels. Now they will help the Fulani. You know they they have multifaceted ways, different ways. The Kanuri, they will join them say, no, 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 they are our Muslim brother. Oh, let us convert the Igbo brother, even the Igbo infidels, to kill them. Now, they don't know that they are doing it. They are using that religious sentiment in order to get their support. <laughs> that is what you call Fatia, uh, Katakia, isn't it? So, what am I trying to say? All this is for Britain to use full and do their agenda and after they now deal with them, put them in the position they're supposed to be. Are you hearing me? If the full, if the British or the Europeans love so much love Fulanese, they would have turned the even Niger Republic into uh, into a heaven, developed to heaven. <laughs> Don't you think that? But in Nigeria, they are there. They they are their weapons tools weapons of a uh, service but if there is so much love uh, the Fulanese there are many Fulanese in, in, in Niger Republic but there uh, Britain I mean Europeans we are Americans of the West they were looting their uranium giving them 0.0001 percent in return and they are happy to call them one of the poorest countries of this world <laughs> but in nigeria they are using them as if they love them oh they they give them arms they push them you know push the agenda oh yeah become good because they want to use them against their people and this is Biafrans and all that or you know mostly Biafrans plus other indigenous population in Nigeria. Now you hear it? Do you see? Do you see their their tactics? But the Fulani they don't know that they are using them. Instead, they believe that oh, it's Allah that is uh, you know helping them to conquer. No, your Allah is the Britain, the Europeans. That is your Allah. They are helping you. Are you hearing me? <laughs> so that is how the world is. Because they are trying to create a people. Recreate a people of their choice. The way they want their tests. So that without giving you or uh, bringing aid, uh, you'll be dying of hunger. Without uh, you depend, we depend on them completely for survival and now they will come as saviors you know africans we refer to after all we refer to white white whites as, as saviors now is it not white jesus it's white jesus now so saviors already 
that is very is very very pathetic are you hearing me so it is the british policy to destroy the indigenous peoples in nigeria mostly biafrans their policy is to create them to their test to recreate them to their test they are doing this through killing and the sacking of indigenous communities and taking over their land destruction of farms by the fallen headsmen causing artificial famine and thereby facilitating the big gate project in nigeria have you have you forgotten big gate project have you forgotten i will replay some part of it today now i want you to listen what is going on in our land i want you to listen i want you to listen to what is going on just hold on listen to this report to this clip okay hold on this is a special re report from um Owere. I'm not called Hubi Owere. Just listen. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on your time zone. I remember as I'm watching it, I'm watching it, adjusting from Owere. In my state. Biafra land. Please, there is an emergency report. Right now at the uh, Amako Hubi. Amako Hubi is getting severely kidnapping from the herdsmen, torture, killing, raping, all manners of different cases, daily basis. From the four corners of the four villages in that area. From our intel there, it was bad because our mothers and our fathers cannot go back, go to their farmland successfully and come back without no problem. Are you hearing? These are full of names that are being brought by Hope or them. Are you hearing me? They are raping our people. You know what? Our mothers. Causing havoc, destroying the farmland. Do you, do you think that this is just a coincidence? What has been happening is just a coincidence? It's a policy, it's a program. It, there is a grand plan, a grand conspiracy. Mazichina Samuru said on Saturday that it is a policy. After the war, Britain threw the Nigerian government made it as a policy that they will destroy every infrastructure, everything that will make us make Biafrans, you know, to go back and be uh, food sufficient. That they, they will make sure that no farm will depend on outsiders for our food. It is a grand conspiracy. Are you hearing me? That is why when they saw that all this thing, despite the lack of infra federal infrastructure in our land, with our Iwambo, they saw that uh, we are building civilizations, that we are we are advancing through our own efforts, despite no support. Despite the economic strangulation, despite no nothing, no road, despite encouraging, imposing, you know, their cronies on us as political elites, despite encouraging our governors to loot the allocations that they were given to the states. Don't you know that? The federal, the federal government always encourage. The governors to loot the states. They give them say leeway. No problem. We are behind you. No wahala. Any governor in our land you see walking is doing so with his own, you know, this personal decision, refusing orders from the caliphate. That is what I'm telling you today. Somebody like um, uh, 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 Oti is doing it against the the you know the will of. Um, uh, the the uh, uh, I mean 
the caliphate. Are you hearing me? Otherwise, that is that is why you see Obiano. After looting everything, once you finish looting, now they will they will still use their agent EFCC to stop you and bring you to the fold and do account and check. You drop the ones that is remaining for them. Now they leave you. You go your way. That is the policy in our land. Do you think that they brought a uh, hope or them just for nothing? From fourth position, first in history. Don't you think that he has a mission to accomplish? That is why greed, I continue saying it, greed destroys a people. One person's greed, greed can destroy a whole race. Imagine that Hope Ozodema is a good person. For example, he's not greedy. Despite being approached to do the bidding of the caliphate, so that they will put him, don't worry, now we have power now, we will support you, we will put you there. Who, who will say no? If he's somebody that loves his people, he will politely tell the caliphate and say, oh no, this one too much now. No, I will not, you know, don't worry. Don't worry about me. I need power, but not like this, please. Don't worry. Ah, yes. Let us see next time. I will try. Because if I do, if I become imposed, no matter, you can do it. But my people, he will think about his people. The feeling of his people. How everywhere we be katakata, he will think about it. But greed never allows him to reason that way. That is why if I'm talking, I'm talking about the kind of family. The greed in them. They don't care about destruction, about lives. They don't care. You know? They don't care. They don't care. Okay. Ima, uh, uh, something you get through while you way. Mago, mago. There will be conditions and strengths attached. You must uh, come accomplish that. That is why I am completely against any begging from our leader to come out. Begging. Begging. Hey. Uh, they, they, they want to destroy things, I'm telling you. Uh, please, you now. Okay, beg. They will give you condition. They must give you condition. If they see that maybe, imagine I'm the canon. Okay, he is desperate to go out. A freedom fighter, he should not be desperate. <laughs> uh, let us remove sentiment, please. In your name, life and death. If you are going to the war front today, you've been enlisted in the army. You know that you 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 will sign papers, knowing that na am name is with my eyes. I know, I know it. I know the consequences of what I want to enter. I can be taken as a military. You can be taken to anywhere tomorrow without information. Or you prepare, prepare. Or you go. You they go and put you in the war front after training, because that is what you signed for. Are you are you hearing me? Nelson Mandela, they tried everything. Now here I die now. Me, I'm a dead person. Waiting on at the talk. Because he trusts the structure outside. No matter that he was not hearing anything from them, but he knows that he never met. Forget that is why even they can come to talk to him in a way. He know. Now, come out, oh yeah, can you come out with it? Oh, see, uh, there are many times they propose even this man, you when you study history, they propose him several times to come out on that condition. He said, No, before he go out from there, that even the whole people that we are arrested, that we are jailed for this movement must be out. He will be the, that he will be the last person out. Oh yeah, yeah, there was a I put as here when it can see her no me another come out. Eba will I won't go no my one here also. That is a freedom fighter. Are you hearing me? And that is the mindset of our leader. That's it. That is what this this evil evil family cannot want to destroy. <laughs> but we are watching them. <laughs> are you hearing? 
So, what am I trying to say? Who opposed Odema is doing the bidding of fulanization for a reason. Because he came there not because he won election. They gave him condition. What to accomplish? Are you hearing? What to accomplish? And he accepted. That's why if you get anything by begging, oh, <laughs> you are gone. You are gone. So this is what the gift of hope was of him. Fulanization. Have you forgotten how uh, uh, Ojo Carlo brought he he posted about you know they boy any post we heard you not I I he is the first person to bring um, Ruga it doesn't matter what you call it is Ruga that he brought Ruga in Ibo land and after here <laughs> you see what is happening in Loba if it was not dislodged after some decades you start seeing what you brought in a minor ndibo amazim i now support in your job and i kriyaka obuteruka somebody cannot tell it to his face say oh god what you brought uh, what you brought is death to our land and that is what all these people are trying to do again in this generation because of their political interest petamba is there i will come to that so this is the report of what is happening. Let me finish playing it. From Ondegu, Amako Hubi, the whole four villages at Amako Hubi is totally saved by Fulani Hesmen. They are there rearing their cow, destroying the crops. Everything that our fathers planted in their farmyard. They have consulted the police. Police cannot do anything. They have consulted the military. Military cannot do anything. Not that they are equipping them with AK-47 and the other things to make sure that they destroy everything that we cross, everything that we plant in our farm layer. It's totally unacceptable. Do you see it? They are equipping them. The police is with them. Let me let me bring it out. We are even. Let me bring it out. I I I posted it. We are the the, the Nigerian police and military. It's what we knew right from time, but we always bring proof. Let me bring it out. That I will Listen, we are friends. Hey, if your money. That I won't put over say Nigerian government I Two pieces. I pick the Nala, Nka Baraba. Huh? Why can't you update you on Omo Biafra? They won. Do you see? They are fighting the ESN. Nigerian, Nigerian military is fighting the ESN that is trying to sanitize our farms, our forests, of killer headsmen. You know, all these things, don't you think, don't you see that there is an agenda that they want to achieve? Don't you think so? Immediately ESN was formed. It is that time the, 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 the governors of Southeast were activated by their master. In order to say, what are you people doing? They activated and formed the Bubago. Something that was have you ever seen where a Bubago busted and said and showcase oh they have a uh, killed or captured the killer full and headsman? Have you ever oh have you ever seen that? Amoteko, you in Yoruba land, you several times they dislodge uh, full and headsman 
they show it on video, they show it on photos, they they capture, they arrest, they kill full and hates men in their land. But have you ever seen a Bubago one day, one day, say, ah, uh, we have captured the Bubago, I mean, full and hates men. Uh, that have been terrorizing our land. No. Have you ever seen them? Or, you know, have you ever had it? It never exists. Instead, they continue killing our people. Now you ask yourself, why is it so? <coughs> because Nigerian government created it, you know, for an, for a purpose. They don't want, Britain don't want that their plan of recreating a people, you, you know, they don't want that plan to do what to fail to be interrupted they don't want it that's why any slightest thing they will use they always use evil politicians and these people they don't care about the repercussions of what they are doing to the people no 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 what matters to them is their their you know their uh, 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 political posts and what they can gain nothing nothing more do you see the problem we are having? Do you see that uh, our brains need to be sanitized? Do you see? <laughs> Do you see when we try to say, okay, let us sanitize our brain? Do you see that it is the right thing to be done? Because that primitive way of behavior, that primitive wickedness is, the, you know why, you know what is primitive wickedness? Let me tell you. Human beings are wicked in nature, but there is bad wickedness. You know, in in European countries, you see that they first of all they they pronounce to you that they are there is no discrimination in the surface. All men are equal, yes, but institutionally, they they profess one type of you know uh, 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 what do you call it uh, political discrimination uh, political discrimination or the other or diplo let, me, let me call it diplomatic discrimination very polite you will not understand but institutionally it is happening that is wickedness but it's not evil for your information because they are protecting their own race it is called self-preservation so that they continue being on top that wicked primitive wickedness is this when you are fighting against your brother for the interest of a foreigner don't you hear what i'm saying do you hear me at all do you now understand it that primitivity is when you you know you are fighting against your brother or the interests of your brother your people in order to favor foreigners that is what brought us uh, black people where we are today don't you know that the slave trading <laughs> transatlantic slavery they came the Europeans came and cornered the people, cornered some people, and made them wealthy, using them in order to catch our their own brothers and sisters to sell. And most of those people they made wealthy, they cornered. They they were first of all Christianized. Are you hearing me? Uh, this is a historical fact. Uh, when you read uh, this um, something on uh, Google, uh, 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 is it Leticia uh, Google that confessed about his great grandfather was from Enugu, that was a slave dealer, very rich. <laughs> she was saying that it is they are now seeing the repercussion because they they don't live long. They are very rich, but they don't live long. So you have to find out, try to find out what is the problem in their family. Very big family. And he now find out that his great-great-grandfather was a slave dealer. But very rich. He, com 
he, you know he combined with the europeans with british to deal with his brothers they gave him you know their Bobby. they gave him uh, 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 protection and even he possess he possesses slaves but do you know what one funny thing he is the founder of anglican church in their community here today Oh, Chineke, gonna hear you. That's why I'm not hunting. I'm not giving. Then then I then I say, believe what you believe. Oh, legi de legi de si chukwo kike. Okay, this thing. Okay, you take a break. This thing. That man, that man, that their great grandfather is history, historical facts. What happened? He was the first to convert to Christianity. So the first support they now use him against their their brothers. In one Enugu community, I have preached this here on Radio Biafra. Because once they Christianize you that time, now you start. They turn you against your people. You start seeing your people as unbelievers, as infidels, as people as savages. Anything concerning your tradition becomes evil. So, if anything they tell you to do, you do, and they give you leverage, make money. If they bring mirror, it's for you'll be the distributor. Are you hearing me? So now he joined the white people, the British. Started, they gave him arms, gave him uh, soldiers to start any person that they mess up with brutality against his own people. That is primitive wickedness. You know, I call it primitive wickedness. There is good wickedness, so. <laughs> where you save your brother even if you uh, 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 do injustice against a foreigner it doesn't matter to favor your brother that is why once you see you see what Fulanese are doing can work against you oh why interest how can I protest oh can I protect the well can they wish other people can I can I chuck a hand around top as a people not as one person no and once they are fighting for collective interest, sacrificing individuals, their own individuals, it doesn't matter. Now you see, all of them, they will be growing. That is civilization, no? Oh, well, yeah, I'm going to say, oh, what their interest can protect their collectivity. Their collective interest, so they are not individualistic, oh. Oh yeah, our civilization. No, but you that is uh, fighting against your brother, you you take a, a contract from um, foreigners to fight against your brother to kill your brother for foreigners. You are the one evil and primitive. There is uh, primitive evil, primitive wickedness. It is that is what is worrying many of our people. It, even if they want to destroy the whole race for the inter, for their per, private interest and that of a foreigner that send them, they don't care. That is where we many of our people are still. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing what I'm saying? We must continue. So we should be careful. You know, when you see, for example, in parts of Asia. You see some Asians fighting against a black uh, person, You're hitting him, kill, trying to even wound him. Another Asian will come. He will not even ask what is the problem. He will, once you see, oh, this person is a stranger, he enters, start, start hitting. Oh, why how civilized wickedness? Forget it, too, your emotion. They will conclude that it's evil. Uh, but in your own, when you see uh, our distant, maybe your brother fighting against a foreigner, you will come and emma your brother immediately in the idea. You know, even turn against him. Oh, yeah, oh, primitivity. Oh, why you oh, come walk again? everywhere. Forget about the digital diplomacy. <laughs> Let us know. Is this type of primitive evil and wickedness that makes somebody like Hope or Dima to accept being a governor in order to, uh, in a contract he has he signed with the caliphate? That is primitive wickedness primitive evil all the primitive when you are fighting your brother you are people are, you which means you want to remove you you are going into self-destruction 
Are you hearing me? Self-destruction. It is better you promote self-survival, I mean the people, from, uh, 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 you know, destruction. Than, uh, that is why, even in, in the Bible, in your Bible, you see it. Any person that does anything, uh, you know, the collectivity of the people will be punished. Let me, you know, I'm giving you instance of the Bible. I'm giving you instances from the Bible you are reading. Do you know why they, why God is training them uh, like that? Akan went and stole something, a foreign god. The God saw him oh, as an all-knowing, all-seeing God, as you believe. But he didn't kill him. Or he didn't point at him, say, hey, 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 somebody, say, oh, yeah, yeah, it's him, it's him, it's Akan. No, he didn't point. He wait. If they went to war, he will, because of one man, he will kill many, thousands of men. They will fall into the war. They will fall to their enemy. Women and children will be killed. And they, they, he makes them to start asking, no, no, no. To have that self-consciousness. And say, no, what is, they, this thing is not normal. There is something. They now start asking questions, what is happening to us? And it was revealed to them that there is somebody among you that did something. He didn't even talk to them that this is the person. No. He, he is training them to know how to find out the culprit. To fight for themselves. Are you hearing me? You know I say we learn from everything. Are you hearing me? So it is now for them to work hard to fish out that culprit and to punish him. So that tomorrow, if somebody sees somebody doing bad thing, he will bring him out without hiding him. Because he does not, you know, that evil the person does it will not only affect him, he will affect everybody. Is it not how our land was before? If somebody does bad thing in a village, in our community, they say, Omerala. Oh, Somebody will go and collect another person's uh, or shift another person's farmland or sleep with somebody's uh, wife. Uh, it, they didn't say Omer that person. No. He said Omer and Allah connects us all. That has been our value, our root, our tradition, our culture. So that we'll be on the lookout for each and every one of ourselves. But the Europeans came and severed that thing. They said, no, no, you have to give account of yourself only. So that we now go into selfishness. We no more look, about, we no more talk about the land that Allah, Allah connect us. No. Once you sin, you have to confess and you are saved. Don't worry about anything. No. 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 Do you see how they destroyed us? Before any person, if you do something against your brother or your sister, you you know you I say no nya hamerala no ge abia kwala because they don't see you as doing something against that person only, but against the entirety of the community. That is our tradition, isn't it? Today, all these things are gone. They will tell you, no, once you believe, everything is uh, uh, forgiven. All things are new. They, you know, they smartly carved out the whole thing to be, made it easy for us. Very easy. Believe, oh, confess, and you are saved. Any other person, both the person you kill the children, both the person you rendered as orphan, no, God, as God has forgiven you, no, who is man? That is the mantra, the very evil mentality that is prevailing in our land. Is it not this thing we are talking about? People now say, no, 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 I'm not taking us confusion. <laughs> hey, sometimes I'm not getting here, I'm saying no. It's not something that will be solved now. Okay, of a generational something. We are asked, you are that did you have a prayed for you? Your sins are forgiven, so you are, you are okay. Alaina, Alaina, Abuayon.
Ma tu fui si ai. Ma tu fui si ai. Ai na try be eh ene mai. We don't know. As a people, as a community, as a race, we must be on the lookout for each other. Because the evil you committed against your brother is not against that person individually only, but against the entirety of the land. Even you don't even learn from the Bible. Why not? You don't even understand nothing. You don't even follow it. You don't understand it. The way you are being trained. You are being trained to cram, to remember, not to think. Here we make you to think as a human being. Are you hearing me? So, now, you see the report from away. The same Fulani, that is destruction of the entirety of the whole, pop I mean, indigenous population in Nigeria. They are friends mostly. You see how they are doing it tactically? The other day I talked about indigenous people. That there is a grand conspiracy against indigenous people in this world. Because out of 8 billion human beings that are living in this planet right now, only to between 250 million to 500 million indigenous people still exist in their land. Don't you think that there is a conspiracy? They don't want the people to be attached to their ancestral land because there are laws, there are things that connect you. They want to destroy all these things so that the human, they create the world power creates another type of human beings that are mixed up that they can be able to control. Are you hearing me? That is what is happening. Now, there is also this news about them. Um, there is one Benue community. Benue community protests block major road after gunmen killed 26 residents. It is part of the program, part of the conspiracy against the indigenous people, part of part of the colonization, part of the colonial continuous colonial legacy that Britain brought and put to recreate every, every indigenous people that we must be who they want us to be. That is what is happening. Now, let me read it. This is today's news, April 17, 2024. Indigenous and residents of the Gua West, local government area of Benue State, trooped out on Wednesday and blocked the Makode Naka Road to protest killings by armed headsmen. Armed headsmen. Now, it is normal, new normal, since 2015, for people to be slaughtered by Fulani headsmen. It's normal thing. You talk, uh, yeah, no, you cry, yeah, full of hate men. They, are, they, are, they say, ah, now no matter now. Why you go that side? Now you don't know that full of hate men, they can kill you. It become no matter. Do you see how they, they are creating a, the, the type of human beings they want in Nigeria? For you to take the full of killings, hate men killings as normal. But once they talk about it, oh, they are dominated, you know, I beg, instead of he was to go, they are afraid to go, let full of continue killing. Don't you see that there is something, it's a program, it's a policy, it's a conspiracy. Don't you know that? Don't you know that? The protesters who took to the road accused the state government of not implementing the anti-open grazing law. About 26 people in three communities were killed in the council area by bandits suspected to be headsmen. The same people everywhere. You just two less than two percent of the whole population are destroying lives. Don't you ask yourself how are they on top? How are they achieving this? Because of the primitive greed in the indigenous people, they will take one somebody, you know, pump him, bloat him, larger than life, make him worthy, and now use him. How oh, chineke? The local government area chairman, Henry Agba, has informed the punch that the attack, which commenced on Saturday, lasted till Monday, leading to the death of 26 people, including six personnel of Benue State Community Volunteer Guards and Livestock Guards. It started last day and ended in Sunday. In Monday. Still going on. In Monday. In a country that has police that are boasting of, um, uh, you know, to cano jet, I'll bomb you. I'll, but nothing, nothing. They gave order from above, say, they, because they are. Uh, didn't I play the clip of the Nigerian troops 
attacking the ICN, people that are fighting against killer hitmen, destroying our farms. Don't you think they are implementing the Bill Gates pro project without even knowing that they are doing it? Without knowing that it is what they are doing. Don't you see that? <laughs> this is not the first, not the second, not the hundred. Every time the same thing. Every time the same thing. Tell them about Biafra. They will tell you, hey, no, Ibo man is dominating. Remember, during the war, they were the people that fought heavily. The infantry is mostly the Europa and the Middle Belt against Biafra. But that is bygone. They use them. Today, they, you know, they are taking everybody one by one. They create confusion in the midst of people. Now, as we are fighting each other, now they will be taking everybody one by one. After Benue, they will come down. As they are coming down to Enugu, they are doing it. Are you hearing? They are doing it. Also, one is there. <laughs> and there are the plan of oh, we should be wise though. Biafra liberation, restoration of Biafra will save everybody, every indigenous people in that place. And the Britain is seeing it as a as as a uh, uh, interruption of their project. That is why they are fighting to tunnel. As they kidnapped our leader Mazen Nam the Colonel, now they you know they made sure they are making sure to destroy IPOB, even using Mazen Nam the Colonel's siblings siblings. Sometimes they might not know it. They thought that is ordinary greed. No, they don't want uh, uh, another person to be in charge of IPOB. They don't know that it is the project of Britain. They don't know that it's British project. How do you how do you think that somebody that is suffering that you you know set up a global movement of IPOB now he's being relegated to a family just a one fa kind of family we are writing you kind of family do you think that uh, world the countries or world institutions do you think that they they honor family or they recognize uh, your uh, one person your family name who are you? They respect institutions and not the family name. For your information, I don't know these people. They are, they are, they are, they are greed blinds them to their stent. Their greed blinds them. I'm telling you, very, very bad, very, very bad indeed, very, very bad indeed. Just hold on. I will be right back. Let me take care of something.
sorry for the um, distraction. Is something I have to take care of at the background, please. But as I was saying, we must be sensible in whatever we are doing, please. We should understand that there is a grand conspiracy by Britain in order to turn us into the type of human beings they want us to be. Will you be part of that? Uh, will you accept that? That is what they see Biafra restoration effort as an interruption to what they are doing. Now, let me just go on. Just uh, uh, Benue community protest block major road after government killed 26 residents. The same plan. The same plan. How do you solve all this? For just indigenous people to gather together and stand up against what is happening. No. Why, why will they gather for Igbo man? They will, you know, that is what, it, you know, I said it the other day. Why we, we are Christianized? One of the main catalysts of being Christianized is because of the brotherly feud that only Shando Bochi used to have. I think I've said it. I have said it the other day, you know. Uh, now, Anglican came and uh, profited in the brotherly problems they have. And she accepted it without questioning. They say not that they accepted Christianity. No, they accepted the white people. Give them land immediately. They say, hey, we have people that we can use. You know, but see now, let them come now. We shall use uh, these people. We help us to fight them. That is primitivity. You know, when I talk about our people being primitive, you don't understand. You don't understand. You don't understand. If you understand, you will know what I'm saying. You know? You don't, you should never say, it doesn't matter the problem you have with your brother. brother. Even it means a killing. You are killing each other. It's better you kill each other as brothers. One time you will have brain and settle. No person will uh, uh, enslave each other. You understand? But foreigners will come. When you side the foreigners to fight against your brother, if you conquer and subdue that your brother with foreigners, the foreigner will turn against you and enslave all of you forever. It's common sense. It's common sense. Therefore, if you are fighting against your brother and foreigner come to side in it, uh, you, you quickly use bread, just like uh, uh, you'll be fighting with your wife or inside your house. Somebody will ring bell to come in. You people will do as if, hey, okay, how are you? Well, be fine, you know, be sweet. After talking with the person, with the person, the person will go, you people continue your fighting. It's better. Because if you allow foreigner to enter into your internal problem, Two of you are gone. It's complete destruction. That is one thing our people don't understand. Now, do you do you remember? Do you remember in 2018, Femi, Femi Adesina, they then uh, uh, I mean cabinet member in Buhari administration. He said giving land for ranching is better than death. By Femi Adesina. He, you know, I played it here on this radio before that time. <laughs> he said it pump and plain. Femi Adesina is a, is a, is a European person and he's a pastor. <laughs> oh, Chineke. Let me read it a bit. That, this news was, let me flash back to you. July 4th, 2018 news. Giving land for ranching better than debt. That is Femi Adesina presidency. The presidency yesterday charged those against the administration's ranching and colony programs for headsmen to rethink, noting that they are better off with the ranches and colonies than dying through the persisting conflicts. <laughs> Don't you don't you see don't you reason and see that this is this is a conspiracy? It's a it's a policy. 
Are you hearing me? Special advisor to the president on media and publicity chief De Femi Adesina speaking to an AIT morning program in response to question on ancestral attachment to land said. Ancestral attachment? You can only have ancestral attachment when you are alive. If you are talking about ancestral attachment, if you are dead, how does the attachment matter? Which means you surrender your land or the headsmen will kill you. Is it not what is still happening? Don't you see it? And the governors in Ibo land are abetting this policy. Uh, highest uh, hope was that man will live. Highest no, go on, no carry on another 50 years. Yeah, no carry on. Maybe he's uh, going to 60 something years. Go, no, 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 me to sell her. On one another 50 years. On one. But the policies, because of his greed, the, the policy he helped foreigners to entrench because of his greed, we live and hunt us forever. That is what we are alerting our people. Femi Adesina said it. Surrender your land or you'll be killed. And the Nigerians kept quiet. Yeah, full and they are killing us. They are killing the people everywhere. They are killing, but Ibos are domineering. You know, bring Ibo man to kill. But full and they are killing everybody. What spell do they cast? No, they don't carry. I don't. No, 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 no. There, there is no spell. Only that the full and they are doing their thorough job with the backing of Britain. Because Britain is using them to recreate, to recreate a type, to get a type of people, docile, foolish human beings that they want, you know, that they want to be. They want the people to be. Are you hearing me? That is what is happening. Now, all this is happening because of also, let me play this in Jeman's revelation have you forgotten have you forgotten in Jeman's revelation have you forgotten it let me replay it that place before I open the lines please this is something okay policy orchestrated a conspiracy against us all we are in mortal danger in Nigeria for your information. Listen. Now, where do the doctors come in? The doctors come in in the fact that when they capture the field security, which they actually have done now, because you really, the most of the seed growers have been, have been killed. Let, just to give you an example, between 2015 and 2018, 37,500 people, victims, were killed by Boko Haram. Okay. Uh, these are, these were farmers. Mm -hmm. Then, of these 37,500, 32,000, that's 85% were Muslims. Muslims. 5,500 were Christians. Mm -hmm. And in states like Zamfara, 60% of the victims were Hausa. 40% were Fulani. Fula. Do you see this killing that is going on? Listen, there is a very, very delicate or fine line that we should understand. Oh, I don't know how to explain this. You see this statistics of this man, Dr. Jemanzi. He gives interview. You know, we are shouting, oh, it's Islamization. Hey, we are trying to Islamize us. You know, at the beginning I said, no, they are trying to fulanize us through Islamization. And I still stand there. But do you know that this world Islamization is working in two ways? You don't know they are killing people also. Indig it's indigenous people they are killing that are also Muslims in the north. But when you shout Islamization, they are Islamizing also, Islamizing also, is playing to the advantage of the Flanes. Do you know why? Do you know how? Ask me how now. Because you are uniting the whole Muslims in the north that are indigenous people that are also suffering the same thing. You are suffering. You are classifying them under one umbrella. And also, it makes the 
the the indigenous people, indigenous northerners, non Fulanese that are suffering this thing, to also have a, a, a fake confidence that oh, anyway, uh, it's Muslims we are killing uh, as a uh, Igbos infidels are shouting of Islamization. I'm a Muslim, so even if I'm a victim, it doesn't matter. Let me take solace in them being converted being killed so it's still our religion after all when i go to heaven i will be recompensed recompensated so he keeps them not to even rise up against the fulani i don't know there's a way this thing is is very tricky it's very very tricky they are committing the biggest policy you understand but now we people are seeing it in another way misinterpreting it which is also giving it more fire giving it more vigor giving it more energy playing in both sides because we for example we the Igbos that are you know crying oh they want to islamize us they want to islamize us we are not also seeing the plights of the indigenous people in the north that are farmers that are muslims are you hearing me? <laughs> you know, you know the level of understanding differs. There are my, there might be people that understand me. It, it, as we are crying Islamization, now we classify all that all are enemies. Are you hearing me? That all new guhancha or If you see a kanuri that is a Muslim, you say all are the same and is playing on the psyche they themselves do no matter that they suffer this thing more than you we are now misinterpreting the reality of the issue that they are targeting uh, farmers it doesn't matter whether they are they don't have religion but they are using now religion making us to misinterpret it as religious issue so that to get away with it <laughs> do you see how politics work they play things in a sophisticated way so that if you don't take time you'll be pursuing shadow we are as the, the 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 overall result will affect everybody in an equal bad way they want to destroy farm pro you know original seed growers whether you're a Muslim or a Christian or an Aosa, that is what they want to do. But they want to use a fake face in order to achieve this. And why we are pursuing shadow? Now they are doing the main thing. <laughs> are you hearing me? That is what is happening. We should be wise and know how to interpret, think deep, make deep analysis of issues happening in order to get it correct and say no this is not this this is that it doesn't matter the way they want us to believe it it doesn't matter the way they want us to see things no it is like this it is not like that are you hearing me you see you know you see yesterday when i came up i said it you know when i had them um, uh, uh, uh what do you call him the British uh, Foreign Secretary, Cameron, the former pre uh, Prime Minister, being questioned. My brother uh, sent it to me. I listened to it. I laugh. They were talking about uh, Iran. Iran. How Iran is here for? How, uh, you know, uh, that's why I like their journalists also. They ask questions with a fear of favor. David Cameron was completely talking about the evil of Iran, how they send brutal drones and missiles and everything. The woman asked him, if Britain was at the British consul, consulate or embassy was attacked anywhere in the world, and this, I mean, somebody killed, the British citizens killed there, what do you think Britain would do? Yeah, Cameroon started stuttering. No, I, 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 we, 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 no, no, we will go hard. No, no, uh, we will react. The woman said, okay. Why do you think Iran should not react? 
<laughs> I smiled. I said, ah, okay. Uh, you are reasonable. But if you don't know, with your narrow-mindedness, they will channel you one way so that you continue pursuing shadow. We are harassed. They know what they are doing. That is what they are doing in Nigeria. Yeah, no, it's Islamization. But they are doing something more horrible than Islamization. They want to clear everybody. Both Islam, both Christians. So. But we are not seeing it with the normal eye. Defining it all on what it should be. It is brigade policy. They sponsor terrorists for to achieve things. Are you hearing me? There is still our natural uh, uh, products, our, our natural resources. California, in Borno, you go in Zamfara, everywhere, in Sokoto, everything. They put all these bandits to sponsor them, but we are not at our lads. We are talking another thing. And as we are pursuing shadow, shouting another thing, they are busy doing what they are doing. Now, they don't they didn't stop there brigades now have bought nigerian hospital federal hospitals unth is is bought by Bill Gates. all the federal hospitals have been bought by Bill Gates. now he ain't even if you offer more for jagba you know uh, had it been he stopped there maybe this revelation wouldn't have come out but you want to take over the whole of Nigeria. You want to take the, over the whole private hospitals and clinics. Do you see it? Do you see also greed? Now they are using these people to kill farmers everywhere. They kill farmers in Zamfara. They kill, destroy, bomb everywhere. Use all the, you know, in our place we are calling the, oh, they are Islamization. It's, there, it is something more more evil than islamization when they destroy the whole natural farm products as they are doing in our land because petamba let me also come to that let me let me let me let me let me read that petamba news making round from issues on local government area is that the governor of enugu state petamba has given out about 15000 hectares of land to a particular full animal under the pretense that the full animal is going to establish an agro based industry in issues i think the leadership should investigate this properly yes the man is determined to hand over our land to our enemies we must not keep it quiet please in issues this is how they began before you know before you know it we will have a formalized Fulani colony in issues i understood i understand that the traditional ruler in the area augustine namani is actively involved in it it is also said that petamba is providing necessary logistics with which a strong army base will be established in the area let us not forget that a harmful community where this terrorist attack ceaselessly in the past killing hundreds of our people is under issues of local government do you see do you see how they are using our people because they are desperate to be in power because they are greedy to be in charge like hope of them that is why they use them they are willing to use an office they will be for eight years maximum they go now they want to lay legal very bad legacies that will affect the people forever oh, um uh, 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 what do you call him or joseph carlo did his own today do you know how many how many thousands or if not hundreds of thousands of uh, 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 our people that have been destroyed by the fulani in a uh, it is courtesy of or just Ocalo. but come coming to this why must land be provided to these people why does it mean that okay let us say okay as nigerians why can't they use their hand you know in their private businesses and uh, if they want to buy land or, or rent a place they do it by themselves instead of going through government government must provide the government must army base must be there what is happening because uh, britain wants to create a type of people 
that they want. Let me finish playing this. So it became clear that this has nothing to do with Islamic terrorism. It has to do with elimination of all the seed growers. Okay. Now they have eliminated the seed growers. Okay. Now they have, they're moving into the second phase of their program. Now when the farmers go to them, now we now depend exclusively on the GMOs. Okay. So we may we not depend on GMOs right now. Exactly. Okay. Because without the GMOs, you cannot really uh, get seeds or Unless we are getting seeds from different African countries and some places, some places in the south, especially southwest mm -hmm. and uh, some parts of southeast, we can still get our own seeds because yeah. the Boko Haram have not really infiltrated been infiltrated them. Mm -hmm. But they are trying to do that. So what is happening now is that they want to move into the next phase. The next phase is whereby they will have total monopoly of the seeds. And then they will tell the farmers, you want, you want us to give you seed. Okay, we can give you seed, but on the premise that you must tell your wife and daughters to go and donate their ovarian eggs. That's a conditional gift. No? Conditional gift. Food, that is, if you want food, you have to donate ovarian eggs. The why, eggs why? of women. And why do they have to do that? They have to do that because the Western countries need these ovarian eggs for cloning. Nigeria is the only country in the world and in the history of the world which has legalized collection of organs without consent. Do you, do, does this uh, thing uh, ring a bell in your ear? This man did it, is an informed person. He's not talking for talking sake. He said Nigeria is the only country in the world. Hell, if you, you know, Mazin Amdekano said it one time. If you say you are a, an intellectual, a Nigerian, any person that comes and starts boasting, I'm an intellectual, yeah, 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 and then I'm a Nigerian, hit him in the front, Kawhi on. Nigeria is the only country in this world, planet Earth. He didn't say in Africa, in the world that legalized the collection of organs without your consent. Does that ring a bell for you or in your ears? The answer is no, because you have been conditioned. Britain wants to turn us is a farmland. Nigeria is a farmland for everything. Because Nigeria is not like any other country in this planet Earth. Even uh, Tinubu said it before he came to power. When he was accosted by, a, 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 I think, a, a journalist. He said, keep quiet. What happened to Buhari? That Ni don't Nigeria is not like any other country in this world. So, things are different. It's an experiment. A bad one. An experiment. That is what, that was, that is what Nigeria is. So, it's a continuous colonial legacy that is ongoing are you hearing me that is why it needs to be destroyed some things we you know uh, we define but wrongly oh, islamization what they have in stock for every nigerian is more than islamization it's more than islamization <laughs> islamization this one they want everybody to be you see that uh, zombie film if if you are alive, you know America, you know onion and company. That is how they want every Nigeria to be. Are you hearing me? So it is worse than what you are even crying about. That is why we need to get out of this mess. Getting out of this mess is just separating from Nigeria so that we interrupt interrupt Niger I mean the the, the, the the this British uh, agenda. We just interrupt it. We interrupt it. We, it we, that is why Britain, they are mad at Mazen the Khanu. They want to break him by all means. They don't care. They want to break him by all means. They want to cause confusion, destroy IPOB by every means possible. Because they perceive that IP, they see IPOB as a very big threat to their farmland. Well, you see, when you cultivate a farm, crops and there is weed what do you do you go and weed it out 
that is what Britain wants to do. They want to weed us out so that their farm continue growing in the way they like it, Nigeria. But we shouldn't allow it. That is why when you see somebody that is trying to fight against IPOB in his actions or inactions, I'm telling you, it bends my heart a lot. Because these people, they don't know what is in stock for every one of us. They don't know. They don't know. Their greed, their greed it doesn't allow them in order to understand anything. But here we are telling you, please, support what we are doing. L remove greed. Remove hatred of one person or the other. Oh, you hate China and will Remove China and Wuri is just one. Is, is, uh, Biafra is more than China and Wuri. Biafra is more than Mazinam the Kano. So it, it is, we have all. Uh, we have everything at stake. Are you hearing me? Do not allow your hatred for one person or the other to make you to destroy our collectivity. That is primitivity. Are you hearing me? We should be at our last. Never to allow this struggle to see rot. That is what I'm saying. This is where I'm going to stop. I'm going to go into a few minutes break. So that when I I open, I mean I come back, I will open the lines. Please do not go away. I'll be right back. So your organ, which you own, which is your person, if you go to the hospital, they can collect that organ without your consent. Because it states in section the National Health Act of 2014 and 2015, actually signed in 2015, states that you you can actually collect that organ without consent in, in section 48 and, 50, and 51 of the national health Act 2014 version of it actually states that you can collect that organ without consent you can collect organ and you can collect the gametes that is the the eggs of women without consent of the patient that's very dangerous that's very dangerous but it was allowed into law i personally led the the doctor's delegation in the National Assembly hearing and the Senate hearing and pointed this out before Ike Peremado, uh, before uh, uh, Governor, uh, the, uh, the, the main, the main uh, um, proponent of the law, uh, if, the, who was Ifan Yokowa, Senator Ifan Yokowa then. And then, of course, uh, Ngige was also, Senator Ngige then, was also present at that public hearing. I pointed this out, that you can not do this under any law but they overruled the public hearing and Senator Ikwemado uh, uh, who was the person who was conducting the public hearing uh, did not heed to all the calls by all the people present and what happened? They passed the law with this defect. So all the people who are waiting to harvest organs, harvest eggs, are all in Nigeria. They are setting up their different NGOs. Can you explain why there is a multiplicity of NGOs in the Northeast? Where there is a conflict going on? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Doc, I will come back to this. But what I want to ask now, uh, I mean, why is uh, the get focused on Nigerian doctors? Yes. The, the, yeah. The, he, that, can you address yes, that? He focused on Nigerian doctors because he now wants to harvest these eggs. And doctors are the people going to harvest these eggs. These are going to be in hospitals. But Nigerian doctors, he knows. Welcome back. This is Radio Biafra House of Service coming to you through Radio Biafra London. My name is Mans Mars, Jonathan Chinedu from Olo Province of Biafra London. We are here live and direct. Today is the 17th day of the fourth month being April 2024. Therefore, I welcome each and every one of you. Our lines are now open. Our direct line is plus one, two, one, three, three, two, eight, six, two, two, four. I repeat, plus one, two, one, three, three, two, eight. 6224. Our WhatsApp and signal line is plus 61405142547. You can call us and give us your view on to this submission. 
I will take just a few calls, please. But you can call us now and do not wait until when I say no more calling, now you start calling, please. You can call us now and give us your view. Do not forget that we talked about the continuous colonial legacy and Nigeria is an air force that is waiting for us that it is it is the legacy a british legacy in order to recreate us the indigenous population the way they want it the way they want us to be <laughs> they are playing god they are recreating us through their actions and everything which is highly highly dangerous are you hearing me so we must prove to be human beings by doing what we are doing and being consistent and never to allow our sense our greed our individual greed in order to you know destroy our collective interest that is what is called primitive evil therefore i have callers already lining up caller on Signal, can you hear me? Welcome to the program. You are the first caller. Yes, sir. Master Jonathan. Good evening, sir. There you go, Master. You don't drink it. There you go. don't drink it, Master. May God bless you for your program. Master Jonathan, my name is Master Fanya. Please be up and forgive me for where I am. I'm on ground. Master Fanya calling from his location. Master, we must move forward. May God bless our leader. And may God bless our HODs. Mazi, permit me to, to say this thing. Operation, go back to Radio Biafra must be obey. Operation, go back to Radio Biafra must be obey. I use this medium to encourage our media warriors. And also to thank uh, Lion Man, I, I, I was in, the, in his program and I, I typed this and he, he quickly you know, re realized and he went back. Please let our media warriors follow the instruction. Operation go back to the Biafra must be obeyed because many things are happening which our people are supposed to be aware, like this brigade taking our 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 people's kidneys and also trying to use NGOs to kill our people. This program always been, you know, discussed on Dodo Biafra and the most of our people doesn't know what is going on. Marzi, please, I'm sorry for deviating from your program, but I have to say this so that our people will follow the order. Marzi, yes, what happened today? at the court yes uh we have seen it and that is why we say in a peak audition that's where we stand in a peak audition that says the church and acquitted and they banned our leader not to attend any further trial in the zoo called nigeria that's where we stand any other thing more than or uh, accept this is not our interest again they must obey their court order if they can never be a court order there's no need to stand a trial court order must be obeyed now they come into the main program that you you are discussing this night my yes you see what is happening when you was talking about this uh, doctor, you know, giving an analysis of how people, farmers are being killed, we all seen that it's not only uh, Christians are being killed, and also it's not only Muslims that are being killed. I didn't mean that this thing is a, a, a killing that makes for Christian or a killing that makes for Muslim. You will see, Christian will be saved. Or most of them will be saved. To tell you that these white people, these Westerners, they hate Africa to their extent. They have went back 
and program themselves and they come up with another agenda calling it a uh, uh, headers farmer clashes or for uh, or uh, killing of people in the, the churches our people may think that it is killing it's just a mo maybe muslim killing a christian or uh, christian killing a muslim but it's beyond that in beyond that in the in the inner looking is beyond that westerners want to use this opportunity to wipe up to wipe out africans and also to also put their order in order to control because they have seen that religion which they introduced in africa have been now be questioning Marzi, let me share this testimony last week i was traveling to my to my village i will not call the place Marzi, as i was inside the vehicle and these religious bigotries now you then start preaching Marzi, i challenge them i was challenging that person in that motto and also giving that person fat and figure Marzi, do you know what happened all the people in that vehicle or now turn and they say yes i know that you are a pagan you are pagan you are anti I say yes i know that when i start asking questions about how the religion comes to our land how our people accept religion you people must tag us anti -Christ. but this our relig this our time have open eyes and i'm a student of Rudolf biafra that's what i was telling them the motto that i can never shine to 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 stand new people to stand you people anywhere that i saw you people try to confuse our people try to give our people you know a, a fake promises try to give our people you know telling our people that manna will fall from heaven without telling our people where our problem lies that the, pro the our problem is lies on government because after god is government that i can never stand i can never be in that uh, in, the, in that organization you know uh, see you people try to confuse our people Marzi, you will see people on that vehicle start, you know, talking that he, I didn't know that the Antichrist had been so fast. I said, yes, you people can call me Antichrist. I'm not Antichrist, but I'm trying to tell you people that uh, we, are, we, we, are, we are brainwashed by these Westerners. Marzi, even two days ago, someone also, he said that uh, he come and preach to where I are you today. Marzi, I still enter the, the same place again. Start asking the man, why are you deceiving our youth? Can't you tell our youth the truth? Do you know what the pastor told me? He said that I'm idiot. I said, yes, I'll be, I'll be there because I don't want you to deceive our young boys. The person go ahead to say that there's a place, there's a chapter in the Bible which he will read. And after reading the chapter, he go to market. You see, uh, look at yourself. Just look at yourself. You bring it after reading the chapter. And the Yahoo people will come and give you rice. Give you this. You pray for them. Man, if you see what happened, that pastor, just say I'm idiot. You just abuse me. Say you are idiot. I say, look at you. you call your, yourself pastor. And you know that I'm on the right side. You are not calling me idiot. The man just went away. He didn't come back there. Man, you must show by example. You see these people. You see what these people did to our our forefathers by trying to confuse them. Man, I have taken it upon myself that anywhere that I travel, anywhere that I go, see any of any one of them preaching on the vehicle or, or any around me. I must counter them. I must, I must tell them the truth that uh, we are deceived by this West, this West uh, Western people. And uh, this time around, we have come to counter their lies, and that's what happened. Mas, may God bless you. We must there continue, will. no matter what happens. Will, our man, our freedom must come. IPOB is not family business. That is where we stand, and our leader must be released by the pronunciation of a pickup. That's where we stand. Mas, may God bless you. Good night you from too. here. Thank there you, Mas. We must never be deterred by all the shenanigans because this awakening, this gospel of awakening must continue. You know, it's, a, it's little by little, you know. It doesn't matter what they do. We must continue. making Opening people's eyes. Making, in, making them to understand that uh, uh, the time has come for reality. Uh, that we should face reality. Color on the red line. Can you hear me? Welcome to the program, Mazi. Yeah, Mazi, Jonathan. Good evening, sir. There were. There were. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Mazi, I met you from North America now. But, um, Mazi, thank you so much for another mind blowing uh, um, program. Uh, first of all, all here, Jaffa. Almost here, Jaffa. Uh, there were. 
Yes, ESN, ESN is our last hope. Is ESN is all we have. And Mazin Nam de Kano, whether they like it or not, must be freed. On this charge and acquitted, we stand. We are not going to budge from there. Despite all the shenanigans they are doing, we stand on this charge and acquitted. Mazin Nam de Kano said before that he will defeat them in their own court. And it has happened. He has defeated them and out of shame, they are looking for how to manipulate it and upturn the law. So that is it. Mazi, uh, your program this evening, eh, all the all the are so scary. For me, the way I see you, you have an ego eye. You have an ego eye. Let me describe this scenario. Be gate is the ego. Targeting to eat all the all the all the chick, chickens. And I need Kumu Lomokoko. Africans in general. The gate is a threat to humankind. He's a threat to mankind. This um the, the why why I say that you have ego eye bo you are you are seeing everything holistically because sometimes eh, I know we don't even know where our problem is coming from. I say colonization, I say hurts men, I say Boko Haram. Whereas somebody is somewhere manipulating all these things. That is the gate. This man wants to wipe out our generation and install robots. And one of them the kind of evil heart. That man doesn't have conscience. In so many programs, they've mentioned him. And no more any conscience at all. Mazi, let, let me just go straight to the point. In my eh, I, I'm, I'm, when, when I listen to your program, I'm so scared. I called my mom yesterday. And I don't want to mention the location or where, but just hear this thing. I called my mom yesterday. We're having conversation. What? An old woman, close to 80. Do you know that my mom went to our local market in the village? She told me that now you cannot see a single seller. Everywhere is empty. No. Mazi, I received the same know. thing, the same report from my brother to them. What I'm telling you, gospel hmm. truth. Tata, tata. Or same nine Nigeria go Ghana, Yang, and now Nazi are home here. Now go. I'm telling you. Now buy. Mazi, 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 you go now home because if you come to my family house, I, I, I let me say. We are good in oil production. My mom can sometimes get close to two drums of palm oil every year annually when she was strong. But now, now what she does is just to sustain herself. Who brew some palm oil or Ghana or she will use that money and buy some stuff. But when she went to market, she couldn't buy anything. Or see now we're a problem. You see how what do you think is the cost? Or see now. All those farmers in Ebutere have food stuff that they don't come anymore. You see why? On some land, the funari, they could have the anubo. So when I met, when I ask what is for, from the north, on some land, he had addresses from the north. Mazi, when you are discussing this thing, eh, I'm so scared that you want to starve us. You want to eliminate us by starvation. Now, coming to what China Sanwaru said in his program, that secret conspiracy to stop us from producing our own food. Now, if you if you, if you, if you put one on one together, to what this devilish brigade is doing today, and those who are planting original seed and bringing their uh, genetically modified organisms to replace it, they want to wipe out human human existence. So, who's a body? Who's a body? Um, that is that is why. I'm happy and 100% in support of this radio jingle of um, IPOB, uh, you know, advertising that our people should go back to farm. Even when I called yesterday, I was asking, has my people started farming? Clear all the places around, who plant anything. That one is, um, is, is an offset. Marzi, I want to ask a question. This opportunity, to Ohanez and I know they listen to you. Why is the atom come you go you go to the I've been trying to track or monitor since the British ambassador 
came to Igbo land and promised them that he would bring development. I have a question to anybody who can answer me, and particularly to Hanez and Igbo. Bikonu, is there anything that, is there any development brought by British High Commission or British Ambassador since that visit? Because I've been, I've been monitoring, I've been paying attention. I do come sure when him know. I don't know how long our people will wait to open their eyes. I don't know how people will, I don't know how long our people will know that deception is in the air, is in the open, is no more hidden. Finally, um, sometimes I, I, I always tell myself that I, I don't believe in a lot of karma, but sometimes in one way or the other the thing exists. He kept with a model and his conspirators, how are we part of those who 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 approve that organ harvesting without consent based on what our brother doctor was saying today he is, is he not is Allah Biafra Kububo the man Allah Biafra a black Allah Biafra has put him in jail he's and you know you, you can see how her daughter's organ linked him into 7J10 that is how everybody who is fighting against Umuchikokike they will all go down one by one. Finally, our brother, the doctor that revealed this shocking mystery, shocking, shocking, scary story about uh, this blood sucking Bill Gates. Wherever he is, he should protect his life because these people can wake you model the hemorrhage humanity in their mind. They can do anything to eliminate any obstacle on their way. Mahazi, thank you so much. I'm listening and learning from others. There were, there were, there were, there were, of course, um, Dr. Jemans, he, he should be protected because he is entering into uh, causing, uh, you know, um, uh, he is tearing uh, uh, on it uh, this thing next. I am telling you. The worst part of it is that is this. You know, he is calling on Nigerian government, those that stamp, stamp uh, rubber stamped, uh, conspired on, uh, on what he is revealing about, he is those that is calling for them to take action. That is also one thing that when you look at it, you see that we are in a messy situation. Calling your killers to come and protect you. Well, we must continue. We must continue. Caller on um, Marzi. Let me see who is here first. Okay, caller on what's up? Please welcome to the program. Can you hear me? Uh, no, you're yeah, what? 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 Yes, all the clear. The Daniel, manager. Daniel, yes. Okay. Mazi, I said, big one, okay, to know No, this is our brother, uh, Jamanze, because more, I took exception. Um, which is true. But on a project, OG will add which My point is this our brother Adi Hall genuine. That our brother is Adi Hall genuine. Everything. Just like what they say in the Bible that you know the truth and truth will set you free. Today I will reveal one of the things they're expecting to hear from us that our freedom may come. So um our brother no PM Bobona Ekumaka uh kidney maka organ. It was where the resolution of our organs. We have to now. We check if we need for body able to do it. Now we need to know what we need. Mazi, 
Can you check good bank? Eh? The last time the whole south 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 raise any resolution. I do make question D bo. If I raise the resolution at that house, I'll be true. Can do the course you buzzy kita and no one at this resolution only if the evil can perform what Bruce on D bo not in that uh in that city. So D will call it up. So the only agenda which Makiadia to to tarnish our image one. Mazi, can, uh, um, can, can I can I come in here, please? You know, yeah, 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 I'm listening. Okay. Yeah, Mazi. You know, um, there are sometimes we also think deep before coming out to say something. If uh, Dr. Njemanze is making a false allegation. Do you know that this thing can land him into heavy problem? He he said, you know, why he is talking, he said the original proponent of that uh, law or bill that was ratified. You know, Ekuremado uh, was the uh, uh, before he was the uh, 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 senate uh, chief, or how do we call them? That time, the yeah, original pro the listen, 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 I'm coming. The original proponent, the, the proponent of the initial proponent of that bill is uh, Senator Okowa. He mentioned it. Do you think that this man will be lying? We are us. Uh, you know, they are hearing it. Can he lie against them? That in, uh, oh, this guy was there. Um, um, the former governor of Anambra State. What is his name? He mentioned the names. And he called the Kuremado because the Kuremado, yes. he, because the Kuremado was the, was the uh, 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 Senate chief. How do you call the The person in charge of Senate at that time. Not run. Who say I? I no say no. They, uh, and uh, he, the the eyes have it. So let us stop looking at things with a very uh, you know narrow parameter. Is destroying our names. Mas, which name? Do you think that he can have the? This is not the first time. Mas, are you listening? If you are in a noisy place now, you can listen from the background, please. Now, yeah, yeah, if, if do, do you think that if this man, because uh, many times we use sentiment, if this man, if the, because why he called these people is for them they are here they had it. If he's lying against them, they will take him immediately. They will take up the case. He wrote against Bikate. He wrote to United Nations to different world organizations. Not only talking it. Oh, Marzi, come on, Marzi. Guide the one fair, please. Let us not sometimes use sentiments to miss, miss the point. If this thing this man is saying is a kind of lie, this is not the first time. I have played his clip no, about no, last year. No, no. Yes, he said he was no. he said he was presently there. Not they say that he said he was presently there and the gate was talking with them on video, video link. Marzi. Mazi, oh, Chineke. Mazi, let us. I think, you know, uh, let us not think that I now work one uh, millions of dummies. Maybe because of what you just, you just think something, you come out and with a sentiment. It is not like that. I know you speak your, you speak your mind, but you think, you know, please round up, Mazi. Round up. Uh, uh, just uh, they can they, like I was saying, Emma. They, what he said, I'm not. I'm not countering that is a lie of anything. No, what I, my point is there. My point there is that uh, you know, in his purpose, he, he, he mentioned a particular people as if we don't have any other people that are among for that the, the thing to be passed. This is where I'm trying and where I want to call our attention. Exactly. After all, if you come to the house, uh, Igbos are the minority. Is it also uh, some uh, Marzi, so, you don't understand the point? Thank you very much, Marzi. I sometimes I I don't like people that are thinking one sided, honestly speaking. 
he didn't he don't need to mention all the he he mentioned these people as the okawa is the proponent if it is haruna he will say haruna was the proponent of this law of this bill but that time he see both people and he mentioned all of them because it to to give you a vivid example that so i was there and they were there i have to explain to them so he, he was expecting them to join him in order to fight against this but they disappointed him that is why he was even bitter against his own people because he know that this thing will ricochet more on evil people he know that that's why he's bitter even mentioning their name who is the proponent of the law okawa so we he come and say no he's not okawa he's a um, haruna Ma, i don't know Ma, see, i don't know i don't know honestly let us stop reasoning with our sentiment do you think that this man he lied against okay you know what he what he said is truth but uh, his motive now you are trying to go the motive that is what you are trying what you, you cannot even know is what you are trying to be instead of the message the same way people say ah imagine i'm the kind of yeah though what he said is truth but he want to be the chief of biafra he want to control biafra that is his motive you but you 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 understand and say yes what this man is the, saying is the truth let us take the message i don't know i uh, will take these two last calls let me see whether i have uh i have callers waiting but i have also a caller on on direct call let me pick him let me because i've been watching he's paying caller on the um, direct line please go on and make it brief please uh, yeah uh, thank you uh this is um Bonnery from the U.S. Uh, in China, back abo. You can when you were you born. I can be easy no one of them. You don't need any you apology. Be, so as to solve it, because you don't need any apology. Done. Yeah. So in China, in China, you could turn a year by Sunday by year. Oh, and be because I've heard some comments. Um, some second as oh, now that's now in the primitive. You need to be aware. Go out, come and come. But you know, you know, the way our people reason, we lack sophistication in reasoning. Only the reasoning here, you have to, you know, weigh in ideas. You make your offer something. What is critic? You have to critically ma, ma, question ma, things. Ma, I'm not cutting you. I hope um, you can keep just uh, w w one minute. Let me say something in what you said before you continue. Okay, the people okay. that and then I say that uh, hey, hey, we, I got out. Let, let me just give you this current example that we are living, we are seeing now, now, now. Mazi, mm. uh, Jimako, didn't he? Is he not a lawyer? <laughs> no, no, I'm, I, I'm coming somewhere. Is he not a lawyer? I hope he, he is. <laughs> okay, <laughs> no. okay, oh, boga, oh, make me here in America. Okay. Now, he, but he will, he was duped by a common judge. Maybe he compare his uh, uh, educational uh, prowess and ability with that Bintan Yako. And when he can, when he Bintan Yako Ruya, when a Bintan Yako be a guahasi, um, he on the game we we put the sun from uh, this alley uh, come tomorrow i will give you you write a bell application i'll send you you go yeah and he deceived them uh, do, do you think that this type of person supposed to be deceived don't you think that he's supposed to reason say na he have a legal issue and now uh, may and a promise you gave to me no he will okay. deny you didn't they, that is the primitivity and another thing when people some people that will destroy a whole generation with their greed 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 just their single greed mm -hmm. blind myopic greed they are ready to sell and destroy everybody our collective interest music are you not primitive Marzi, go on please yeah, all sophistication because, well, for example, now in MNITOD, 
this is exactly why I stopped attending all this Igbo Union thing because sometimes a quote that somebody go, oh, oh, I'm one president, oh, no, no, we are one president. Now, they, they forget that an institution is is a, a legal independent entity. IPOB is a legal independent entity. We don't depend on anybody. IPOB is above everybody. IPOB has no property in Mazin Namdekano or his siblings. And that is where principle comes in. That's a principle that guy sought. You know, I guy down your bro, how uh, the kind of siblings, whatever they like or don't like. And we have to be disciplined. Disciplined, bro. Now, I see leadership. If leadership says this, we will follow. If you don't like what leadership says, then exit the, the, the institution. Because I was, you know, arguing with a lot of um, so called uh, autopilots in Ebano. I, I let her say, uh, you should go and listen. I let her say, uh, anyhow, you get your friends. Yeah, I, I, whatever I let her say, I have my own brain. I can weigh things, I can reason, I can critically think. I didn't come to listen to Martin Namikami because he said, I was weighing what he was saying. I was weighing with my former experiences. Into Lenka, into Lenka, into Lenka, into Lenka. Okay. Ah, ah, no, but come back. I'm the mero di hana mbombo. You see the same thing. Do you want any layer? Do you want any layer? We are the quite different too. And he has proven all of us right that he's different. That's why we follow him. Oh, oh, potato say. Oh, and you jump point to the fire because no, no, the Afro and Yehwe. Because we are following a certain principle. We are critically thinking. And that's what makes us sophisticated people and not primitive people. And you are to work on the back and the album. So in that aspect, I'm saying that I'm glad that DOS has taken the proper step. Since the siblings of iniquity have soiled their hands with criminality, we have to dissociate ourselves completely from them and our leader has to understand that um, we have a lot of questions for him we're grateful that he sacrificed his uh, parents unfortunately he has more to sacrifice which is his siblings because we all Biafra is greater than every any single or any group of people. I'm sorry, we have to just, nothing can derail this movement because um, all the same blood can you can have, but I can't get the key, I can't wait the last one. Oh, but I'm there, I'm going to go to the bottom, but I say, okay, I can't check, you go to the bottom, mm-mm. It's, it's, there's no two ways about it. So, um, we, oh, it go, I presume, oh, it go, I feel the guy, you made this little case. I presume that no Wendy, anybody in our phone, they have, with, without IPOB funds should desist. We don't want to be associated with what, what they're doing. We're focusing on our leader and our leader alone and whatever the leadership says goes. In terms of court case, in terms of um, is the leadership. And I'm glad I anyway, this platform I gave you a to draw more and draw me into everybody's ears. And I didn't care that Tom Jeman said, because I'm going to get propagate his name, because he told him that, and what I would do is that Tom Jeman said, I'm on his position in that organization. And it was so easy on all that platforms, in the Nigeria and the other guys, we call it big platforms, because I know that anything I feel big in I can have that part. And it was showing here, a lot of other Nigerians are on my own. They don't know. Yes, I go. I'm on my own. 
Yeah, they don't know. Okay. So we have to propagate this in other Nigeria platforms. Thank you. There were my Z. There were. There were. Okay. Mm. Any person that is uh, still counting, uh, my Zenam, they cannot say he, they should listen to Ikberima. Is he the only person they say he should listen? Did he say uh, take command from him? Did he say, oh, if I'm uh, not there, he is uh, the person that is, uh, you know, any any person that is uh, going astray, he must find one way or the other to justify what he's doing. That is it. That is it. It's just this, uh, like uh, this Bible readers. Anything you catch them here, they turn the other side. They uh, they have another quotation that counters uh, or justifies what they are doing. It's uh, it's like that. As on as on in uh, this religion as on as on doshi. second man. No no no. And Bible say. So that is it. So any person that is saying, eh, my son, they cannot say we should go and listen to. Is he the only person he says you should go and listen? He mentioned the different names. Man, they they don't they forgot to add that Mazinam they can also say that any time Satan enters you and you get IPOB treatment. No, they don't put that that one. Listening is he taking command from him? Napo hapon deara, hapon deara. Kala on Nazi Madabuchu Madabuchi. Ezu, there war you have been here since 26 minutes plus. Go on, please. Welcome yes. to the program. <laughs> yes, my brother. Do the reggae. We got to find one name. Uh, good evening, dear friends and lovers of freedom. Uh, my name is Stephen Chikuma Dabuchi. Um, my, uh, my brother, I have to touch a little bit about the brother who called and saying, uh, Dr. Philip Njemanze is not just a doctor. He has a, he is a very well learned a doctor with another or, or separate accolade and including medical practitioner he is, but not to that that makes him very relevant in the discussion. Dr. Njemanze is the chairman of the private medical practitioners association of Nigeria. He is also a, one of the heads of the uh, general practitioners of Nigeria. So he is an official of the medical establishment, not representing himself. So he is being sent to those kind of things where those things are discussed. And so why did he call that he came for the mud was uh, uh, you know uh, heading the sitting of the Senate. He was the you know um, deputy Senate, Senate president but he was the one uh, heading the sitting on that day, and the main proponent, like you said, was uh, uh, Doctor Ifa Nyokowa. Uh -huh. Yes, and Doctor and Doctor Kebinke uh, Adeka, uh, Doctor Ngege, uh, Ngege, Ngege was the, oh, no, yeah. yeah, he was there too, and he was naming them because they are people who are medical practitioners who we know the implication of what is being discussed. And these are our people who will they are our people who will cover our interest. We cannot be in the Senate, we cannot be in the medical uh, uh, council who are discussing those things. They are our ears and our eyes are on our bodies in that chambers and they didn't uh, fight for us. That was what I, I deduced from what Dr. Njomanze said. And to some sometimes it's better to listen. If you listen, you don't understand. You ask question. If you ask question, you don't understand. You research. You go to social media. The comments of Doctor Njamans the Njamans the first time and now is all in the social media. You can you can Google it. You can YouTube it until you Maz, get the do you think of what that he this man will just be talking and accusing someone, calling direct person, and what no. he's saying is not true, and they will just leave him. No, he was saying where it happened and how it happened. Of course. Go on. Anyway, anyway, uh, thank you, my brother. Um, you know, I always have tried to uh, keep away from our leaders, uh, you know, legal councils and they, they, uh, let them do their own thing. But there's something I'm wondering about. Why have these present uh, uh, representatives, legal, uh, you know, legal representatives of, of, of our leader, why have they lowered the bar so much? Give him, put him in Kuja, uh, give him house arrest, uh, uh, give me, give him bail. Why are they no more talking about 
this uh, um, our leader has been discharged and acquitted that now our people their friends and lovers of freedom will know why our erudite professor Zeko Messan was removed and our erudite sub-barrister Ifanye Jofo Kesi was removed because they know they, they have fought the, for, the fight with this woman and she know they know the, the, the right of our leader and she know they know, uh, they know the law so she wants them to be removed and these people who will be saying put him in Kuja prison is he Kuja prison his freedom or give him house arrest you, they lock him up in Abuja where he cannot receive anybody is that freedom Oh, but what is it? What is this kind of uh, uh, prayer that they are uh, giving in the court? And even at that, they are not getting it. So why can't they conform? Even the woman is threatening uh, to suspend the trial uh, uh, ad infinitum. Let her do it. Then IPO be like you said. We will fight for the repression. I mean, the resolution of Piafra because some some headers of. Where is the header of uh, Ambazonia uh, uh, struggle for independence? He, is in in, he, is in, in, he in has Yawunde. been sentenced to life. Does it stop Ambazonia? Yes. Does yeah. it stop Ambazonia? Ma, let me tell you, you remind me something here. Do you know, you know, yeah. I I hosted um, the, uh, Joe Ayaba here on Radio Biafra yeah. some time ago. I think early last year, yeah, last two years. You know, I was, I, I listened, yes, yes. Yeah. you know what he, he he told me something privately. You know, before we start and after, I used to engage in conversation to know something, to yes. know more. He told me that look, yeah, what we are, we IPOB is an institution that we are yeah. wasting too much time on release mass in Amdekano. Really, that is not what we release mass in Amdekano. What we re he told me that in that time, I kept it. He said, I know he "What we release him is what we are doing. That if Nigerian government yeah. know, kindly understand that these people are unstoppable, even without Mazin Namdekano. Now you see that even they will start negotiating with him. How do you stop this? Exactly. People? How do you stop them? How do you cool down the tempo? They will. They will mm. But if we are going, release Mazin They know Nigerian government. We know that without him, we are going nowhere. So they will hold him. Yes. You understand? Yes." Mas, yeah. on, please. Exactly. Like when uh, uh, Nelson Mandela was in, in, in prison, then in Koshu was it where whatever they called there, every arms of uh, uh, ANC was firing on all slender. Until then, they, 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 brought, they brought him out. So we, 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 we don't have to say, uh, the, if we, we must continue what we are doing until then our leader comes out. Or, uh, Anyway, what, what I'm saying here is that um, uh, what you said now, my brother, is very cogent. If these people think that uh, if uh, they, they have destroyed the center of gravity, as they call it, they've taken out our leader and we're going nowhere. So what will be the incentive for them to reduce him? So anyway, uh, let's, let's continue. Um, the Nigerian government now have left all you know this lawlessness in nigeria they left all the looters all the impunity all the lawlessness of the past administration they are not trying the treasury looters all the thieves that were bound everywhere even people who came to government they haven't stayed up the year and they have stolen up to 40 billion they are not chasing them now they are chasing people who are spraying their hard-earned money what a country so if I have my money and I want to spray it to people, I am worse criminal than people who stole a, go a governor of a state who stayed only eight years have stolen at four billion, at four billion dollars, and he's free walking around. And we are chasing uh, content creators and uh, 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 workers who are uh, uh, spraying their money. And that's the same thing they're doing. The Nigerian army is chasing IPOB up and down for flying flag. But they leave flying headsmen from all over the Africa coming to kill people in, in Nigeria. Even if the youth, they aggrieved and injured people who want to protest, the, the, the invaders, the murderers, we call the Nigerian armed forces to come and they still kill the use of the indigenous people. And that's the country they want us to belong to. They lie, they lie. Well, 
we are going, we are going home. And uh, I want to say this. The 419 governor in, in, in Imo State says that before the end of, the, during the election, remember, electionary campaign, this 419 governor said that before the end of last year, that 4,000 Imo youths will be working in Europe. How about that? How are these people playing with our 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 our, our uh, intelligence and our people and our youth are falling for Mugu for these people? This man has led all the West. This man has led his own West. This man has led the Osumogu West. Osito West. He must stay to West with false promises and false qualification because this man never qualified to be a governor. And people are uh, hobnobbing against uh, around him and make, giving him holy communion, call, calling him Christian of some sort. Mad people everywhere. Anyway, um, uh, what I want to say is that um, our, our people, please, pretty please, every Biafran listening to us and who will hear our broker, I mean, this broker tomorrow or whatever, support IPOB, join IPOB, support IPOB. Support the Directorate of State. These are the administrators of IPOB. And you see that our leader is very smart. He knows that that what happened to him may come. That's why, why he said what the DOS says goes. Because he knows that they are capable of administering the, the, uh, administering the movement, even if he's not around. And why you are supporting the DOS? Support the Eastern Security Network for the restoration of our uh, and security of our beloved uh, motherland biafra my brother I have to leave it here god bless biafra thank you the good night war, the war, Marzi, the war. thank you very much we must continue uh, i have a caller you'll be the last caller holding on 22 minutes now Marzi Chiku, you are the last caller Marzi. please go on Marzi Chiku, welcome to the program please go on make it as brief as you could the war. Okay. My name is Chukwe Manuel, and I'm speaking from my location. I greet you, Jonathan, once again, as always. I greet my leader and our leader, Mazen, and the colonel, the man who set up this platform to expose so many evil that was reading under the roof of heaven. I greet you once again. Yes, I want to start for somebody that called and mentioned about Dr. Njemanze that is calling Igbo people, somebody like Fanyu Kuwa Ngige, and the Kwe Mado, try to twist something regarding that that man that take a high risk by opening this hidden agenda this man said so many things this man said that all the government hospital has been sold to Bill Gates. And they were about to bought the Christian uh, hospitals. He said many things. This man take the highest risk of all to open this secret. And somebody who's supposed to understand the risk and the effort the man made by opening his mouth, writing letters to even to Chinubu and everywhere in the, the so many places, and somebody can come and try to put the man, I, I don't know. This is why evil people are where they are in Nigeria. 
This is the reason. This is the reason our leader came to this platform to expose so many things. So many things, especially in the name of religion, which was the worst thing that happened to Igbo as a race. Instead, the Igbo people will understand this is the serious problem they have. So many of them are kicking against it. Even the time, Jonathan is here some Saturday to expose so many things inside. Sometimes when I'm thinking about evil people, uh, I, I I get tired. I get tired, honestly. How can somebody open his mouth to come and call this radio? To mention something, something that no no human being can listen to hear from any human. Look at the Yoruba is there. The whole Senate is there. This man is there challenging before they conclude. Hello? So, how can this man who stand say he is inside, he saw he discussed and debate, and finally he came out and try to walk towards this evil that is coming to Nigeria. That the whole government hospital has been sold. Who collected the money? Who, what are you going to do with the money? Nigeria, backward country. There was a some time ago, there was the news that 7,200 pennies of, of human being killed in Nigeria was sold, shipped to China. And that information came out. Those people are human beings like you. And they are from Nigeria. And nobody follow it up. Nigeria is the place where you can see religion. Christianity is everywhere in Nigeria. Even people are at the head of beating religion. Muslim religion is in Nigeria. Fulani are the head. And some house and houses and the and the and the West. And the people are killing in Nigeria, their past are seeking abroad. And many of them are still waiting to go to heaven. What a shame. What a shame of a place you call Nigeria. Thank God. Some people have talked before. I'm saying what I'm saying now, based on that very person. But if you are evil man, and you always like to denote yourself to the public as this, your name is sorry. Because when I'm thinking about the risk that man take. I was even taken. You see, this man said that they are waiting for Bigate to come to Nigeria so that they will arrest him. He even said that government cannot even do the work alone. They need uh, underground work, people to support, to see that this slaughter, they want to use Nigeria hospital. When you go to a hospital, they will remove your organ. That you can promote and approve it. All these evil people we have in Igbo land. If you are defending the Kepremado, 
Na defendi ifanyo kuwa Ondige Why not defendi uh, um, This idiot in Imo state That is killing his people Who puzo dema Why not uh, de, uh, Defend uh, uh, Pitamba in Imo In, in, uh, in Enugu state Why not Defend all these evil people That say they are politicians In Igbo land today can you see such people in the north? Can you see such people in the west? This is the reason our people is where they are in Nigeria. Some of them don't think like a human being. Some people don't act as a human being. When you see something where you're supposed to learn from that and put your support, you try to distract it because you can call the radio and disgrace yourself. Ma, I, think, I don't know uh, what you have to okay. you, you have said enough about him. If you have a suggestion, make okay. Some, let me, okay, let me put it by the side. Yeah. Okay. Let me. Hello. Okay, I go to Benue State. You know when the former governor was crying, fighting. Everybody keep quiet. Mr. Otto, uh, Governor Otto, the Fulani work very hard to remove him and fix somebody. They, they say he's a reverend father. Today, see what is happening in Benue State. If people understand what Britain has in Nigeria, if you know what Britain and white people has in Nigeria, if you are a regular listening to this radio through our leader and understand the whole thing that our leader is saying, if you know this thing you call religion, Christianity and Muslim, is, it was made to enslave woman on earth. And it has gone so deep in Nigeria, mostly in the Christian way of Nigeria, Igbo people. If you go to the West, you cannot get how many percent of Yoruba is Christian? How many? But when they open church, they know what they are doing. If you think well and read and listen to Boss Emmanuel, he explains so many things about this religion and the Yoruba in question in the name of Christianity. Some of them are working to support, to enslave in the name of a Muslim. They are inside the Christian in the name of, they are inside the Christianity to work for Muslim to make sure the flanization is complete. That is why each time they are praying for one Nigeria. They are praying for peace. They are praying for one Nigeria 24 hours because they are working for enslavement to make sure Nigeria remain Muslim country. But they are inside Christian now. How I wish if you go to any church, Yoruba church, you will see more people 80% in the church. How many Yoruba are inside the church? But they are evil people who suppose to listen to Radio Biafra and come back. They are the most foolish people supporting, paying their tithe, going to heaven. Why? This resolution from IPOB, we are suffering for support for, to support this movement so that we will get out from this bondage that Britain and the white people created all it in Nigeria. It is a pity that up to now we are still running around 
running. Okay, look at what will happen. I think today is uh, uh, our leader case, according to Jimako. What will happen? These people you call DSS, they are the major problem. If they are the worst thing that happened to Nigeria, working for Britain, they are the people who are working hard to make sure Nigeria remain in bondage. How many Fulani uh, kidnappers has DSS arrested that is in a prison in Nigeria? I mean, but Fulani headsmen are kidnapping people every day. Kidnapping uh, luxurious boss every day. The people are paying their money through transfer from one bank to another bank. Where is DSS? All those equipment they have. Why and why are they not using it to trace out where that money that the terrorists are collecting from Nigeria is going? These people are working together with with the DSS and their group in Nigeria. How many Fulanese that is collecting 100 millions from the kidnappers that these evil people you call DSS in Nigeria has arrested? But every day our leader is going to court, they will collect 500 million. Who is paying this money? Who is collecting this money? Who is paying it? Is it not the government is paying this money? Is it not the same government is collecting this money? But when you come to our leader case, that is the only thing that DSS was formed in Nigeria to do. Somebody who is a, an IPOP, you go and arrest him, you take him to Abuja, you kill those you kill. You have agents in Imo land, in Imo state, they have created the worst thing that the foolish people are killing themselves, killing their brothers, stealing and looting, taking their doing business, forgetting that at the end they will suffer. That they have made themselves to be the most. Ma, ma to be a place people. round up. Ma ma a place round up. Round so, up. So, I'm stopping here so far. We continue from next time. The but what? all I'm uh, trying to conclude is that our leaders, let them try and work hard. There is no going back. Going back is death. We only move forward until we get to our destination. There we Thank you there and God bless you. Bye. Oh, Mose Biafra, thank you very much. Dear friends and lovers of freedom, this is where I'm going to stop. We must continue what we are doing. All of us have a equal stake in this struggle, and that is it. K O E D. So, if we fell, IPOB fell, we fell together. It is all of us that fell. If we succeed, it is all of us that succeed. So there is no two ways about it. We must continue in this struggle. And let us understand that what is facing us in Nigeria is more grievous, more dangerous than what we think, than what we cry about or what we cry for. Are you hearing me? So, we must continue in this struggle. That is the solution. We have no back to go. Therefore, Mazen Namdekano remains the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, of which his brothers are trying everything in order to make sure to scatter things. <laughs> but we, we know. We know everything they are planning or they are doing. And the Nigerian government... <laughs> Uh, the, the IPOB is indestructible. That's it. So, this is where I rest my case. Thank you for listening. 
Biafra remains our religion. Biafra remains our ideology, our identity. Thank you for listening. From me, Mars Jonathan Chinedu, from here, it is simply good evening. Two to three years later, they will die. Okay. They will die of liver failure, kidney failure, uh, infection, some other complications. You know, some other complications. So we know that that's going to happen. So we're not going to do that. And when he called us, mm. and I must say, I was physically present when Bill Gates called us through the, uh, uh, the the General Electric, who he awarded the contract to build 260 hospitals in Nigeria, so that it will be at least his hospitals that will be harvesting this organs and raising these eggs. So he will now take us out of the health sector. He invited the leaders in the private health sector and said, okay, look, I'm ready to offer you money to leave the healthcare sector. We told him before before the executives of GE that he is mad and insane to demand such a thing. To leave medical practice. Right. That we should leave medical practice. And then we will give a, he will pay us. No matter the amount of dollars we ask for. So we said, you are mad. We are not going to do that and to hell with you. Is that really? We told him off before the executives of I was personally present.